Hey, it's nutritionist and maintainable weight loss coach, Trish Amandis here, and I'm thrilled because I have an amazing human here with me. Her name is Jennifer West, and she is about to graduate the 10-week program. She is in the D.C. area, and she's a program coordinator at the National Institute of Health. And Jennifer, remind me how old you are. I'm 32 in a week. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks. All right. So... Um, tell us, Jennifer, how were you struggling with your weight and your health before you joined the program? How did you feel in your day-to-day -day life before then? I was really exhausted and I was dieting constantly off and on. And I always felt like I just didn't have energy when I was dieting, yet I was working out and the scale was kind of either going up or staying in the same spot. And no matter what I did, I just kind of couldn't get it to budge. So That's then you decide was. to join the program. Yes. And tell us what were your goals for being in the uh -huh. program? What did you want to achieve? And then what have you achieved since you've been here? Um, so my, my goal for weight was to lose 15 to 20 pounds, um, give or take. Um, and then actually I wanted to do that by the end of June. So I'm on my way. Um, the other thing I wanted to do was get off of antacids. So I was taking antacids almost every day, which was kind of disconcerting. I also have always had stomach issues, so I've kind of lived on laxatives for most of my adult life. Um, so I really didn't want to be on those anymore. And then I was really dependent on coffee. So I still drink coffee, but I really just didn't want to need coffee to stay awake. Um, so that was one of my major ones. And then just kind of having energy and like um, being able to do stuff at the gym without being exhausted all the time and feeling really fatigued and weak. So then you learn how to eat optimally, put your eating plan in place, you learn the habits. What results have you achieved specifically since being here? Um, so since I started eating optimally, I no longer take antacids. After about a week, that was no longer an issue. And then I really saw a huge improvement with my stomach issues. I didn't really need laxatives that often. And then um, Trish got me a probiotic as well as the optimal eating, and now I actually don't even think about it very much. I still keep records of it, but I haven't had any issues in a couple weeks at least. Um, I've had a lot more energy and people even see it. Like they say that I look younger, which is funny because I'm only 30 something. So, but apparently I seem younger and happier. Um, and I don't really need coffee. I like it, but I've, on most days I don't need it. So that's kind of, and there's some days I just don't drink caffeinated coffee. So that's a good thing too. Um, how is your energy at the gym now? It's good. I, um, it's great because actually I've been going more frequently and I've been getting some of my goals that I just never really had the strength to do at the end of the day. So I have to go to work all day and then go to the gym. So it's always really been hard to have the energy to kind of push myself to what I wanted to achieve. And like in the past about month and a half, I've kind of hit some of my big goals that I've been working on. So I don't know. It's, it's exciting. That's awesome. And are you comfortable sharing with us how much weight you lost? Yes. I've lost 14 pounds and that's with my period currently. So I would like to say that normally I go up a pant size and I fit in. I've also gone down a pant size. So even though I'm on my period, I'm still in the eight. So before that I was just in a 10 and on my period, I would have to wear leggings. So um, and I wore my eights today and they were jeans. So that was really exciting. Um, and they weren't tight and I got to the point that I can pull my, my sixes up, but, and button them, but they're not, they're a little too tight, but they're on your there. way. On your yeah, way. So that's exciting. So how does yeah. it feel for you how to have achieved all these things? How's your life different now that you've achieved a lot of your goals and are confident to continue on your own? Um, I, I kind of like, I don't mind looking at myself in the mirror or in pictures. That's a big thing. So I think one of the time, like one of my things that we talked about early in the program was I had just done a, a dance competition and I was proud of myself because I achieved a lot. But when I looked at the pictures, I just, I almost wanted to delete them. I just, I couldn't look at myself. I was disgusted by myself and I was just really negative and I would never treat anyone else the way I was thinking about myself. And I think maybe that's why people think I look younger or happier. It's just because I'm not as self-critical as I was. And whether or not that is because I feel better and I have the energy and I just feel like my old self, or if it's because I've lost and I feel better at a number, 
but I feel like it's more than just the number that's made me feel better. There's like, there's just something that's different in how I feel as a person that makes me feel better. <laughs> I don't know. That's awesome. And how does that feeling of feeling better and less self-critical affect you in your life? It, I think actually it makes me think about, it makes my relationship with food different and my relationship with just how critical I am if I make not the perfect choice. So like a lot of times, like even just a few weeks ago, I felt like I failed because I made a non-optimal choice, but it was, yeah, I didn't fail. I was the next thing I ate was optimal and everything else I ate was optimal. And I, I learned why I didn't eat optimal and I realized, okay, I can plan this better. There's things I can do to make myself have a better chance of doing this long term. And really it was just telling other people as well because the support was helpful for me. And even if you don't have the support, being able to prepare yourself for not having that support when it's not available is sometimes just all you need to get through the temptation to eat something that is really not the best choice. Yeah. What hesitations did you have about signing up for the program and why? Uh, you mean in the beginning? Yeah. Um, for me, I didn't know if I could actually just eat in a specific way for that long, specifically not eating any meat or dairy. Um, because it was just something that I always thought, like, I have to cut out grains. I can't eat grains this person's insane to tell me that I could eat rice and lose weight. Everybody's always told me you don't eat rice, like and white rice. I can have white rice. Um, so that was a little shocking. Um, having eating so frequently when we talked about it was really shocking to me too, because I was always hungry. Like my entire life, I'm always hungry. So to think that I was being told to eat more frequently, to eat things that I thought, I should never eat um, was I was very hesitant in that and whether or not it like the investment would be worth it. Like was, was the cost of it going to be worth it? Was the time was everything. You think it was worth it? Yes, I do. I, I really do. And I think I can eat this way all the time or at least 99% of the time. Which is awesome because perfection is not required. Yeah. Which is awesome. So it sounds like you were concerned about um, <laughs> about eating rice and, and potatoes and yeah. <laughs> whole grains of things that like, I was like, yes, it's okay to do that. Um, and you yeah. said before you joined the program, you used to diet all the time and feel hungry. How did, how does your body feel eating optimally this way now? Um, so one, I've learned that I need to eat more than I thought I needed to eat. So I can actually, I don't have to feel guilty when I get hungry which is great. And I can bring snacks. Uh, I tend to have a, like my, my plates full, which is shocking, but like sometimes I actually get really full and yet I'm still losing weight. So I think that's kind of something that really I didn't expect. Um, you like that? That you I, can eat whenever you want until you're full and, and you get satiated? Yes, I do. And I actually, I love eating oatmeal in the morning. Like I, it seems so like I probably will eat oatmeal every day if you let me <laughs> if anybody lets me I'll I'm pretty happy with oatmeal because like the idea of eating oatmeal or cereal I always thought I had to eat like you know just protein and maybe a vegetable like that's it and like ideally I should feel full and like I it was me that was the problem that I wasn't feeling full because everyone else would feel full if they ate this way so then it was like this kind of negativity because you think well this is how I'm supposed to eat and it's not working. So there's something wrong with me because there was too many messages telling me that I wasn't supposed to eat grain. And I was, t and then I would end up binging and I would eat fast food and all this because I was starving. So you binge anymore? No, not unless you count me eating like a potato on my way home yeah. every single day. No, definitely not. Definitely <laughs> not. Why my husband's going to get me a shirt <laughs> about I have a potato. We love <laughs> potatoes in this program. We definitely. Yeah. Um, I do all the time. So would you recommend the program to other people that are, have been in a similar situation? Why or why not? Yes, I would. And I actually, I have told other people that they should consider doing it because I think it really, it, it's nice to have something that works for you or like really your body is kind of happy 
because it's it's never easy feeling hungry all the time and even being able to have desserts which i found i had found some really good desserts yes absolutely absolutely um what are you most excited for yourself jennifer moving forward now that you know how to eat optimally your health is improving what are you most excited for yourself moving forward putting on a bathing suit i haven't put on a bathing suit in over two years i dance in shorts and a bra but i've never i haven't been able willing to put on a bathing suit which i see a photo of yourself once you do it yeah i i tried one on i tried on my old ones and i end up putting them on and i didn't feel so bad so we're actually going next i think it's next weekend it's on ours to get our pool passes so i will get to pool this year there's like other human beings (laughs) oh my gosh i'm so happy for you that just made my day yeah so my vitamin d will not have to be artificial (laughs) that's my husband put it it won't have to be artificial anymore i can actually go out in the sun happy to hear that you're just engaging in life more and more activities and i plan on wearing shorts i didn't wear shorts once last year i just didn't feel comfortable um so i've already tried on a few and i have a pile that fits and so I've already worn shorts other than to the gym once because that's I always felt okay going to the gym because it was a community that supported me and that was open-minded but I always felt weird going out in public around people I didn't know wearing like even after I leave the gym I put on pants immediately and a jacket like <laughs> so now it's like uh, well, I could go outside in shorts. <laughs> Good. So yes, because you nice. so deserve to go outside in shorts and feel comfortable and enjoy yourself. And I am awesome. very pasty right now, so my su- I could use the sun. <laughs> I could. Anything else that you would like to say to the person watching this video that's considering joining that maybe you haven't said yet? Just you're worth it. That's kind of what I keep telling myself each day is that I'm worth whatever it takes to get myself to be completely as healthy as I need to be. Because when I'm my mom's age, I want to be able to still do everything instead of, you know, being stuck on a couch because I can't walk very well. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jennifer. No problem.